In ArcGIS Server 10, it is very easy to create map animations on your web applications. Each of these oil fields in the map have been tagged with a date that indicates when the oil field started production. By moving the slider back and forth, you can see that some of these features come and go. This is what we mean by a time-aware layer or time-aware map service. It's actually quite easy to create these effects in your web applications in ArcGIS Server 10. Let me show you how. Before you can create map animations on the web, you need to prepare your map documents and publish them as map services. In this map document, I have the oil fields layer. Let me go to the properties. You will see that there is a new tab. It's called the Time tab. And in it, I can enable time on this specific layer. This is what we mean by enabling or creating time-aware layers in a map document. Simply pick the time field, the field format, the time step interval, and decide whether or not you want to display your data cumulatively. Once you have set these properties, you can simply apply these changes, save your map document, and publish it as a new map service. This is pretty much all you need to do. Once your map service has been authored, you are ready to exploit it from a different web applications. Just to make sure that my map service has time-aware layers, I'm going to look at it in the services directory. Click on the map service and drill down to the layer in which you enable time. You'll find the time info section. This section is important because now web applications can look at it and figure out how to configure the time slider accordingly. The application I used in my demonstration is the ArcGIS Viewer for Flex. This is a configurable application that you can download from the website. You'll see that this application has different widgets, and one of them is the Time Slider widget. In this help, you can find out how to properly configure this widget to get the result that we want. You are looking at my ArcGIS server machine. As you can see, I downloaded in the root directory of my web server the Flex Viewer. I renamed the folder to Time, and then I can go to the XML file for configuring this application. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that I added the Time widget, which is pointing to a specific location. This is pretty much all you need to do. Enable the Time widget in the main configuration file. and then set the XML file in your widget accordingly to display the data in your time-aware layer. Your ArcGIS Viewer for Flex will display the time widget, and now you can use the time slider to, bo to go back and forth in time and display the features accordingly. It's really truly that simple, all out of the box.